Sunday night, the Bengals' Carson Palmer and the Jaguars' Byron Leftwich squared off in a primetime showcase of two of the NFL's best young quarterbacks. And Leftwich made his mark first, counting the Jaguars 41 yards in five plays and hitting George Reitster on a 26-yard scoring strike to give Jacksonville a 7-0 lead. Minutes later, special teams aided the Jaguars in stretching their lead to 10-0 after a blocked punt by Derek Wimbush set up a 32-yard field goal. Trailing 13-0 in the second quarter, the Bengals finally found their rhythm, driving 61 yards in nine plays. Palmer put Cincy on the scoreboard after finding Chad Johnson in the end zone from 14 yards out to close the gap to 13-7. In the third quarter, Jacksonville took control after an 11-yard touchdown pass from Leftwich to Ernest Wilford gave them a 20-7 lead. However, following a Bengals field goal, a fumble on the ensuing kickoff set up another field goal. And the Bengals continued to hang around at 20-13. Trailing 23-13 in the fourth quarter, the Bengals closed to their closest margin of the game at 23-20 on a 25-yard scoring strike from Palmer to Chris Henry with just over five minutes to play. Palmer and company would get the ball back with just over two minutes to play and drive to the Jaguars' 45-yard line. However, a forced fumble by Bobby McCray halted Cincy's comeback. The 23-20 win moved Jacksonville to 3-2 while the loss ended the Bengals' bid at perfection.